So how does this affect us? Well, we know that it's true because, you know, I live here in Columbus, Ohio. And if I were to go downtown on a Saturday during a Buckeyes game, I walk into a bar and be like, ugh, you guys know that sports is a waste of time, right? And like football is the dumbest of sports. I'm gonna get thrown out of that bar. And if I then, as they start to grab me, be like, Ohio sucks, Michigan is way better. I'm a dead man. I'm toast. I'm in real trouble. And that's because I violated a group identity, one that I should be a part of because I live here and because I'm, I grew up in Ohio. But that's why it's rational. That's why it's beneficial for someone to confirm their identity. It's not that people doing this are just crazy and out there and doing whatever. When we have a group identity, it is personally beneficial for us to say the right thing. So unfortunately, it motivates us that instead of being worried about the wrong answer, we're more worried about the wrong message that comes from our answer. And this is driven by so many different things, but we, we, we wanna wear that badge of loyalty. We wanna be included. If you're sitting there and you're like, yeah, you know what? I believe this. I've, I've read the news media that these other groups put out and it is crazy politically motivated. But you know, my group, we're pretty good at this. Unfortunately, that's not what the research says because that would be an empirical kind of question as well. We look at the evidence and the evidence shows us that liberals and conservatives are just as bad at this and if you're like, yes, 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 I'm a libertarian, I'm okay. Libertarians, you're just as bad as it too. The, um, the, the thing is that we're all motivated by this. Um, this is something that is at our base nature. So we have to be aware of it. And that's why I did this video, just to help us become aware of it so that we don't fool ourselves, right? Um, when we look at, well, what else can we do on a global scale, science needs to be doing things and communicating in a way that helps us decouple science from politics. But as we all know from this past year, that's not happening and it should. The other thing is, and I thought this was really interesting in the research, that self-affirmation before looking at evidence helps us not become as motivated and not to fall into those habits. And what I mean is that having confidence in yourself to answer these questions and answering them accurately by going through self-affirmation before looking at it, for some reason psychologically, it tells us, you know what? You do not need to worry about what other people think if you violate the group. And that's a protective way of looking at things from well, a numerate perspective, a, a numbers perspective. The other thing that I think is really interesting is that the one kind of protective thing when we look at groups is professional judgment doesn't seem to be as influenced by this. So that might mean that the people who have been doing this stuff for a long time before it was a politically motivated thing are going to be better at looking at the data and coming to the correct conclusion. Whether that's a lawyer or a research scientist, they should be able to look at this more evenly without being fooled by their own self and their own group. So let's make sure that we're not trying to use values to supply answers when evidence is the only way to come to the right conclusion for an empirical question. And let's not let the wrong message cause us to come to the wrong answer.